Hello everybody, today we're going to look at this patch that allows Pure Data or PD to receive an external MIDI clock uh, that can be hardware or software. Uh, for this patch to function, uh, first of all, we need to install uh, the Cyclone library to get the counter object here. Although this object could be reproduced with PD Vanilla sets of objects, uh, it's just more convenient to use counter in this example. Uh, first, we'll need to set up uh, our external MIDI clock. Uh, today, for this example, I'll use Ableton Live and set it up as an external MIDI clock. Uh, so here, um, we can see I have my preferences in Ableton. I go into MIDI page and I set up an output here. My IAC driver bus 1, I set up on track, sync and remote. You don't need the three of them, but it's okay. Uh, yeah. To set up such virtual MIDI device, uh, we can basically open on Macintosh Audio MIDI device and add a new driver. Uh, on Windows, you can install Loop MIDI. Uh, I will detail that on uh, my GitHub uh, link in description. We also have to make sure that PD receives that clock as well. So if I open my MIDI settings, I can see that I have my input device uh, as a IAC driver bus one, which is the same as Ableton IAC bus one. All right. Uh, so technically, if I press, you can see I have my metronome here. I've cut the sound. I find it to be annoying. Uh, and here you can see I have a pulse. And you know, if I, if I increase the pulse, increases as well. You can use that pulse here uh, as a source of a sequencer. For example, I have made a little metronome sequencer here. I'm going to hook it up to the pulse. I'm also going to use this zero as a stop signal. And I can play. And you can see that as I increase the tempo, my metronome goes up and up and up and up and up and up, or I can go down as well. It's quite snappy. Um, so of course, the more bangs, selections, counters, modulo objects you're gonna put after the pulse, uh, the slower it's gonna get uh, because you'll implement a delay. But it's not something that's very noticeable uh, unless you put hundreds and hundreds of them. Uh, but yeah, that's it. That's how you use this PD clock external patch. Thank you for watching.